Democrats and Republicans alike are forcefully pushing back against an effort to oust Speaker Mike Johnson over his move to bring Ukraine aid to the House floor, predicting there will be bipartisan support to stop a brewing effort to dislodge him from the Speakership. Less than 24 hours after the House passed a $95 billion foreign aid package delivering billions to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, said on Sunday she's not backing off her plan to try and oust Johnson. She declined to give specifics about timing or how he would be replaced. Mike Johnson's speakership is over. He needs to do the right thing and resign, she said on Fox News Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiromo. If he doesn't do so, he will be vacated. Yet with Johnson following through on his pledge to bring the long stall aid to Ukraine to the House floor, Johnson's allies seem confident he will survive. Several Democrats defended Johnson on Sunday, indicating there will be sufficient Democratic support to block Green's efforts. Still, the prospect over yet another fight for the speakership after former Speaker Kevin McCarthy lost his gavel last year is not going over well in most of the GOP. And it's boiling over in surprising ways as centrists grow tired of the constant threat to Johnson. Representative Tony Gonzalez, Republican Texas, tore into his party's right flank in an appearance on CNN, declaring that the House is a rough and rowdy place, but Mike Johnson is going to be just fine. I serve with some real scumbags. Look, Matt Gates, he paid minors to have sex with him at drug parties. Bob Good endorsed my opponent, a known new Nazi, Gonzalez said on State of the Union. These fringe people think they have the high ground. They do not. Gates Republican Florida and Good Republican Virginia were among the eight Republicans who voted to boot McCarthy last year. At the moment, Green has less public backing for her plan to take down Johnson. Representatives Thomas Massey, Republican Kentucky, and Paul Gosa, Republican Arizona, are backing her gambit and more support could still come. Green teased that Republicans who win special elections need to be aware of what's going on in the House. As well. Yet Johnson's future may play out differently than last fall when Democrats declined to save McCarthy. Johnson's moves to keep the government funded and send money to you. S. Allies suddenly has Democrats speaking highly of him, creating confidence in both parties they can defeat the coming vote from Green. If Johnson can cobble together enough Democrats to counteract his handful of GOP detractors, it would be enough to neutralize Green's threat. Representative Tom Cole, Republican Oklahoma, said on CBS, Face the Nation, he took the threat seriously, but that the math is on Johnson's side. I don't think you'd lose very many Republicans, Cole said. That in mind, he added, it doesn't take very many Democrats to either not vote or oppose it. Representative Roe Connor, Democrat California, said on ABC's This Week that he would vote to table a motion to vacate through the end of this Congress and predicted that Johnson might have a few progressive Democrats voting to keep him in his job. He did the right thing here and he deserves to keep his job to the end of this term. In another sign of Democrats' opposition to getting rid of Johnson, Rep. Jared Moskowitz, Democrat Florida, said on Fox News Sunday that what Green, Messi and Gosa are trying to accomplish by removing the Speaker of the House in this very moment after October 7 would only embolden China. It would only embolden Russia. It would only embolden Iran. Words like those have Johnson's backers feeling more and more confident. Rep. Mike McCall, Republican Texas, a key committee chairman who sought to convince Johnson to put the aid bill on the floor, said Johnson's ability to put the legislation ahead of his own job prospects 
garnered a lot of respect from not only Republicans, but also from the Democratic side. We are in a bipartisan era, in a strange way where Democrats will be able to back the Speaker on the other side of the aisle and not have him vacated out of the chair. McCall said on this week. He said he believed Johnson is in good shape. I really do. The House is now in recess until the end of April, and Green notably did not move to trigger her motion to vacate the chair before the chamber adjourned. Instead, she said she wants Johnson and her colleagues to hear from Republican voters. Still, she was basically talking about Johnson's tenure in the past tense on Sunday, calling his tenure a speakership that is over with. It's coming, regardless of what Mike Johnson decides to do, she said of her procedural threat.